Hi, I'm Dr. Hart Pinto. Let's talk about clinical trials. Medical research aims to determine the safety and effectiveness of medicines, devices, diagnostic products and treatment regimes. One research method which assists with determining this is clinical trial. What is a clinical trial? The World Health Organization defines clinical trials as any research study which prospectively assigns human participants or groups of humans to one or more health-related interventions in order to evaluate the effects on health outcomes. The aim of a clinical trial is to identify whether novel treatments or interventions are safe to use, identify any potential side effects, determine if the new intervention is better than the currently available option, and whether any impact on quality of life is seen. Before a clinical trial takes place, there is usually a preclinical process. Prior to any new drug or intervention being used on a human being, a scientific basis for the proposed intervention or treatment must be demonstrated. This is typically in the form of laboratory research, including cell and animal studies. Researchers will investigate the mechanism of action of new drugs and their effects. Animal and cellular toxicology studies are used to determine the drug's initial safety profile. For example, is the drug carcinogenic? Pharmacokinetic mechanisms are identified on how the drug is likely to be metabolized. Where researchers are able to prove a drug or other intervention is both safe and effective in the lab setting, an application for clinical trial can be made. So, how is a clinical trial conducted? Clinical trials traditionally have three phases. In some cases, a later fourth phase may be included. We will investigate each of these stages individually. We start with phase one. Phase one aims to determine the safety of a particular intervention. The testing occurs in a small number of healthy volunteers, around 20 to 80. The purpose of this phase is to evaluate the safety for a particular intervention for medications, this phase will determine the pharmacokinetics of the drug. For example, how the drug is absorbed, metabolized and excreted by the body. Safe dosage ranges, side effects and best methods of administration are also determined. Where the safety of the drug or other intervention is proven in phase one, researchers can apply to progress to a phase two trial. Phase two. In phase two, the efficacy of the drug or intervention is assessed for patients with the particular condition we're wanting to treat. The study takes place in a larger group of people, several hundred, and may last several months to years. Studies may take the form of a randomized controlled trial where one group of patients receive the experimental drug or treatment and the second group receive a placebo. Frequently, these studies are blinded in an attempt to remove bias, where neither the patients nor the researchers know which patient is receiving the drug or the placebo. Phase two may be broken down into two smaller subphases. Phase two A is a smaller pilot study, usually guiding the dosing and the further assessment of the drug or intervention safety. Phase two B is a much larger comprehensive study and aims to demonstrate the drug or intervention has a beneficial clinical effect. Where the treatment is determined to be safe and a benefit can be seen, we can move to phase three. Phase three is the final phase before approval and marketing of the drug or intervention. This phase provides researchers with more comprehensive information about the new drug or intervention. At this stage, there is continued monitoring for adverse effects and information that will allow the intervention to be used more safely. This phase will compare the new drug or intervention directly with another standard or experimental treatment. The study takes place on a much larger patient group, up to a few thousand. Where phase three is successful, researchers can seek approval from the regulators such as the FDA in the US or the MHRA in the UK for drug marketing. Where approval is given, the drug or intervention can be marketed and used within the respective populations. Phase four. This is the post-marketing surveillance phase. After a drug or intervention is marketed and used in the wider population, researchers continue to monitor the effectiveness of this intervention in the general population. At this phase, we compare the drug or intervention's long-term effectiveness, side effects, 
and further comparison with other drugs or interventions also on the market. Where concerns are identified post-marketing, the drug or intervention may be pulled from the market or have a restricted license applied. So in summary, a clinical trial is a research study that involves human participants. It aims to determine the safety and effectiveness of a new medication or intervention. Before a clinical trial can be approved, researchers must demonstrate the scientific basis for the new drug or intervention in preclinical studies. Clinical trials are typically broken down into three main phases. In phase one, researchers determine the safety profile of a new drug in a healthy population. In phase two, the efficacy of the drug or intervention is assessed for patients with a particular condition. In phase three is a final comprehensive assessment before approval and marketing. Once a drug or intervention has been approved and is in use within the wider population, post-marketing surveillance can take place. This is sometimes known as phase four. As we can see, clinical trials play a key role in bringing new treatments and interventions to the general population. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell. Why not also write down below where you're studying because we would love to know. See you next time. Mm -hmm.